Daniel 1, 18 to 25. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph before they came together, she was found with she was found to be with a child by the power of the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her promised husband, being a just and righteous man and not wanting to expose her publicly to shame, planned to send her away and divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child who has been conceived in, in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you shall name him Jesus. The Lord is salvation. For he will save his people from their sins. All this happened in order to fulfill what the Lord has spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which when translated means God with us. Then Joseph awoke from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. And he took Mary to his home as his wife. But, Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, forgiveness is what we need to practice. Tell him that forgiveness must be your life. Something that you need to always practice. I'm sure today this message is going to help you. If you want to be so much spiritual, live life where you can be offended. When you fail to forgive, you are bound to judge. Tell them when you fail to forgive, you are bound to judge. So forgiveness helps you so that you must not be offended. And you cannot judge. Because a position of judging is of God. And we are saving a jealousy God. We can see what Joseph was supposed to have done. He didn't do the ordinaries. The first thing when Joseph heard, just listen to verse 18. He did understand who was Joseph. And when he heard, he was not Joseph. Just read. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child by the power of the Holy Spirit. Did you hear that? The moment when Joseph found out, Joseph, he knew this is not ordinary. Maybe he knew the fellowship they had together. He decided not to expose it. Can we just read going down? And Joseph he was promised And Joseph, her promised husband, being a just and righteous man, 
and not wanting to expose her publicly to shame. Look here, the reasons why he could not do that. The fellowship he had with God was very important for him. You know, the reasons why you can forgive is because your lifestyle before God. Fellowship God matters than anything. The Bible says he was just and also he was righteous. You cannot reach that level unless you have true fellowship It takes God to justify you. When he cleans you and takes all unrighteousness you can be able to live free. He said, no, I can see she's wrong. But I don't want to be part of what she did. Let me leave her to carry on with what she's doing. And this provoked God. Do you know that when you forgive, you provoke God to visit. If you want the visitation from God, forgive what cannot be forgiven. This was a pain to the person that Joseph trusted. Joseph and the person broke his heart. But he decided to say, I will never expose this person. Listen, exposure demands the remarks of others and lift you to be considered. The moment when you try to expose others, you are demanding the remarks from others. It doesn't bring the issue of you are trying to teach others. It, you don't teach other people by exposing others. Because if you know the person is wrong, you need to go and tell the person. So when Joseph realized this cannot be undone, already she is pregnant. The Bible says, he decided he could not tell anyone and say, I must not tell anyone. Let me take her away secretly. Carry on on the the people. Then planned to send her away and divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, can you just hear that? Do you think you can divorce a person quietly when you marry in public. Because remember that tomorrow it can backfire to you. Because the moment when you want to make sure that people have to know it's because you are afraid to be blamed tomorrow. Many people love to defend themselves. It's good to take the pain and shame and allow your glory to judge. God to judge. Tell them it's good to take the Pain. And the shame and allow your God to judge. I was praying today. I had go and preach this message. Because my people cannot stand in my presence. 
Why? Because they are always defiling themselves. <laughs> and also defiling others. We always run away from the people who can really offend us than to, do, to, to take it away and carry on with our life. Carry on reading. Twenty. Twenty. But after he had considered this, uh -huh. an angel of the Lord appeared to him mm. in a dream, saying, mm. Joseph, descendant of David, mm. do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Stop there. Can you hear that? It means that forgiveness promotes you to have communication with the invisible. When you start to forgive, you can see beyond and talk beyond with people that cannot be seen. You have ability to surpass you can see beyond the challenge. And this provoked God to come. And the angel came. And said, listen. What you think is this. It is not. This is your wife. You know, you know, it becomes very good when you, you, you are declared or your blessing is declared. It becomes very good that when you find that you are no longer taking decisions by hearing from people, it becomes very good when you hear it from God than hearing it from men. You know, we have got so much challenges where men have spoken a lot. But there are some limitations we have to Marahona do. Reasons why we cannot hear from God. We have not released some people. There's are some pains we went through. We have some pains we went through. We have some pains we went through. We have some pains we Look at your age today. Look at the level of life where you grew up. Where you are. You will see that many things has happened. This is the time that you need to blame yourself. You need to blame yourself. If you want to remain Blameless. And able to forgive. Blame yourself. Because if you can ask God, God will tell you this must happen to you. If you can read there, the Bible says, this was declared. What is happening to you is not Blame yourself because this is your package. You have to exist with that. That looking at everything in bed life. Accept it and blame yourself. You know, Joseph was supposed to be saying, if truly he was like us here today, ah, why I went through this? But when I say he must blame himself, the answer is, why he didn't see Why that the woman concerned she's supposed to have pregnant before. Joseph was supposed to be blamed that she, he found himself in danger. Not knowing that the woman concerned it's supposed to be like that. If he might have prayed to 
before. God was supposed to have told him that the woman you are going to marry is going to be pregnant by the Holy Spirit. So he has to blame himself. But the Bible says he was able to take the pressure because he was just and he was a righteous man. If you are hearing, say amen. Just say my friend. If you want to overcome any offenses, don't point finger on Sarah. Point it to yourself. Point it to yourself. Because whatever that is happening has been ordained for you. You must go through that. So how do you move forward? By forgiving. God bless you. Let's read continue. For the child who has been conceived in her mm. is of the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son uh -huh. and you shall name him Jesus, mm. meaning the Lord is salvation. For he will save his people from their sins. All this happened in order to fulfill what the Lord had spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which when translated means God with us. Then Joseph awoke from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and he took Mary to his home as his wife. Can you hear that? How can you do that? To take this person. Do you know that Joseph was still having a choice? What's about just Joseph and Anna Louis Hattel? After the angel has spoken, Camera or Muruma Bulele. Joseph was supposed to have said, So Joseph, I can now buy Bulletter. You can find another man who will accept. How I who can not tell a police to see what to learn, Munom without Nyan. But his actions, Mara Midi Roya Hai, of taking her to be his wife, Yaumuchi, or Abim Sadiwa Hai, was to show that he was able to forgive. And also to understand. There were two things that proved that. He wanted to take her away secretly. He didn't want to do that. He was able to take her also. <laughs> After he heard that this is from the Holy Spirit. Remember, it was the first time this has never happened for years. There are things that can happen for the first time that has never happened for years. That can bring an offense and you fail to forgive. This is the time that whatever happens in the future for the first time you must not consider it strange. It's part of your package. You need to forgive yourself. You don't need to forgive forgive. You don't need to fight the person. You need to forgive that person. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read Ephesians 4. Verse 32. Verse 32. Ephesians 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 32. Verse 32. It says, mm -hmm. Be kind and helpful to one another. Tender-hearted, compassionate, understanding, forgiving one another readily and freely, just as God in Christ also forgave you. Now you can see when you forgive. It's because you know you were forgiven. In fact, the Bible shows that if you are able to forgive, how can you forgive? It means you understand that you might have seen before. It becomes easy for you. Because you are 
to forgive someone when you know you've done wrong. But let's look the first stanza of that verse. Can you just read the first stanza of verse 32? Be kind and helpful to one another. Can you hear that verse? Amen. Be kind. In other words, your character is demanded. The level of acting. The acting. Saudi Adilo. After you are affected, is affected. being checked. Be kind. Be kind. In other words, it is possible that you won't be kind. Be kind. Be kind. I was hearing someone say, you know, when someone want help from me, I cannot take it to help a person three months. After I help that person three months, I put my phone off. And from there, I'm no longer going to be part of that person. But I say, this person has failed in the character. Because the character that is needed is found on the second stanza of the Forgive one another. It says, be helpful to one another. Forgive. This one. Okay. Forgive one another readily and freely. Readily and freely. Just as God in Christ also forgave you. Can you hear that? Leaikwa. In other words, you are doing it because Christ did that several times. I want to give you a secret. No matter righteous you are, if you don't forgive, no matter righteous you are, if you don't forgive, in this world, you are still a sinner before God. Do you know, in all the levels, do you know, in all the levels, do you know, of your Christian life, do you know, of your Christian life, you will never reach a level that we call the best. That's what the Bible says. Be perfect. It didn't say you are perfect. It says you, you can try to be perfect. You have got ability to do that. Even here the Bible says, be kind. Because in you, there are some things that rise up. You are battling with some things in you. There are some things. There are some evil thoughts. There are some different thoughts that rise up. So in you, when the Holy Spirit is in you, you are able to judge them. You judge them by the word of God. If you are hearing, say amen. You are demanded to do it as it has been done for you. That's why Jesus says, you know, you are supposed to help this Forgive this person. Several times. Seven times seven. Seven times seven. Seven times forty-nine. Amen. Amen. You are supposed to do that non-stop. Because if you fail, you are offended. And if you are offended, you are a sinner. So Satan can still raise people that have to come and offend you. You need to know that what is important is to be kind. In other words, calm down. Go to a level where the scriptures will guide you out of the wrong character to be in a position where God wants you to be so that you will be able to be in God's way. If you believe you said, say it. Colossians 3 verse 13. Colossians 3 verse 13. Bearing graciously with one another. 
and willingly forgiving each other if one has caused for complaint against another. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so should you forgive. Did you hear that verse? Yeah, it was. It's like the one we read. Read that verse again. Bearing graciously with one another and willingly forgiving each other if one has a cause for complaint against another. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so should you forgive. Bearing graciously to one another. In other words, when you start to have issues of tolerating, you have faith that someone will change. The reasons why you forgive is because you have got faith that God who changed you can still change that person. Can you see? You reach a level where you understand. Even you, you are not righteous. Even you, you were wicked. Now you will be able to bear graciously with other people. Understanding that God who is with you now can still touch that one the same way he touched you. Can you hear that? Think about when always when people offend you fight back. Always you fight back. You forget the issues that even you you were tolerated. If not, you were supposed to be dead before you know Christ. But this time you were supposed to be in hell. The person who is able to forgive is a person who understands that is by the grace of God that God make him to know him. For you to know God it is not by the works you have done. It is by the grace of God. In our village when I grew up there was a spirit of suicide. Let me say many of us there we, we, we were having issues of Wanted to kill each other. Kill yourself. Many boys would be found outside hanging themselves. We'll be playing soccer here. Then we'll be playing soccer here. 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 We'll where you find that I mean, killing yourself was the solution. Witchcraft was a game of the day. And you find that on that time, we didn't even know Christ. This Christ that we are talking about, we didn't know So you question uh, today, you are holding a mic, and you are preaching, and you forget that there are others you play with. Right now they are in hand. So this is the time of understanding why you need to understand the power of forgiveness. This when you know where you come from. Tell everybody, you know, do you know where you come from? If you know where you come from, you will see it is by the grace of God you are alive today. If you believe, say it. Let's look at this verse. Pro Proverbs 17, verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. It says, He who covers and forgives an offense seeks love, but he who repeats and gossips about a matter separates intimate friends. Did you hear that? The moment when you hear a story, 
how to matutwa tava. You carry on with it. You are searching for something. You know there are some people who love to divide other people. Just to have a mission of division. Because in them they are divided. I want to tell you that you cannot do what you don't have. Your character tells us what you have is what you are doing. There are some people are like that when they reach a place. They just divide people. But yet the Bible says, he who forgives six love, God cannot work except by love. The Bible shows that faith works by love. Everything works by love. Because God is love. So you cannot receive anything from God except you practice love. love. Can you just learn to forgive? Some people, you hear them say, I know my mom. Yeah, you know my father. They didn't send me to school. I can't forgive them. It is very good for you, you didn't go to school. It's for the purpose of God. The limitation that your parents give you was the application from God to show his power. If you dwell in the issue of what people do to you, you limit God's power in your life. If you dwell on what people on, on what people has, has they have done to you. You limit God's power. But when you start to love them, you begin to understand why they did it. I don't know if you are hearing me. You will understand. God reveals to you. Love makes you to find revelations. Love makes you to find revelations. You, you can win someone by love. You can conquer everyone by love. Love is so powerful. Read that verse again. It says what? He who covers and forgives an offense mm. seeks love. But he who repeats or gossip about a matter separates intimate friends. I want to tell you that that's how Satan loves most. Satan wants you to cling on one thing. What happened to you yesterday? Day before yesterday. Last year. It means you are not growing. When you're not growing, you think one thing. When we are still excited, the devil bring that pain and say, You have not yet over. Don't forget. If you want to grow in spirit, forget that pain. Move forward. You will be able to pray freely, worship God freely. With God must not be affected by situation. I know many people because of the hidden pain and life of unforgiveness. They are failing to move forward because the devil is still trying to hold them. Just listen. You cannot move forward when you have not finished everything. You need to finish it. How do you finish it? You crush everything by forgiving. It is not easy, but do it. And you are moving forward to your destiny. Don't allow anybody to stop you to where God is taking you. Don't allow anybody to stop you to where God is assigning you. I'm telling you now, 
now that forgiveness is by itself. You change the atmosphere of the present place. You cast demons away. Because when you start to live a life of forgiveness, you bring Satan closer to you. I believe today is your day. Ask someone and say, hey, where are you failing to love? Is it so big you cannot forgive? You cannot forgive. So big that you cannot forgive. That's why Satan will always do something That's why Satan will always do something So that you, you put it in your mind. Always think about it. Where were you doing there? If you are blaming this woman, or blaming this man, what is it that you were doing? There? Blame yourself. Because God could not direct you there. Right now you are pointing on that one. But you take yourself by your two feet to a place there. So why do you have to blame someone? Just to say, hey, when this thing happens, when you are blaming someone, who took you there? If it is yourself, blame yourself. Next time you must ask God, why are you there? I don't know if you are hearing me. I was telling my mom that, hey, you know, Today I don't want to play soccer, I'll be injured. When I reach here, I just play soccer, I get injured. And I understood that I took myself there. I took myself there. I don't know if you're hearing this. You have a chance. And you have failed to forgive that one who gave you a chance. How did you get the chance? How did you get that chance? Did you get the chance by a miracle? Uh, did you get the chance like Jesus? Can you ask her, how did you get this chance? Uh, the Which shall we have to feel as the person that is close to you? Eh? Men are crooks. Hey, I don't even want to see a man. You are also a crook. How did you get this child? How did you get this child? You are also a crook. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming. Blame yourself. And forgive yourself. And forgive the one there. Move on. You will do better. I say you will do better. Stop blaming other people. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you ask somebody this? Hey, are you blaming? Hey, are you blaming? When are you going to blame yourself? You know, we have got people today, they can't pray. Because of circumstances and the situations of what has happened. You can't pray today. And they, when you want to pray, they will show you. Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? You see this? You this is the time now. I say, yes, I feel pain. Yes, I'm feeling pain. About this. But my God, fight for me. I'm forgiving. I'm forgetting. I move forward. God of mercy will bless you. If you read Matthew 6, verse 14, Matthew 6, verse 14, read that verse and listen to it carefully. It's very important that verse. Mm -hmm. For if you forgive others their trespasses, meaning their reckless and willful sins, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Reckless and willful sins. 
Can you see? Position yourself. When we are TV, we and act like your father God. Bring sanctification on you. Because there's reckless. Reckless. And willful. I think this one can help you this verse. Amen. This verse can help you better. There's reckless. There's willful. You can react better. When someone has done it willfully. Because you know very well that that person did that purpose. Can you hear that? In other words, the moment when you see someone doing something and you realize that the person has justified what he did, the eyes of God are on you. The eyes of God are on you. To deal with what the one you did before. Or the one you are doing. Which you are not aware you are doing. Remember I told you that. Before God. Here on earth. Here, you'll be holy. But before God. You need God to. Make you holy. Then in heaven, God will make you holy. Here, you have to fight to be holy. I don't know if you are hearing me. So even when you are 100% here, you are not there. You are not there. there, there. You are not that there. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. So don't ever justify yourself as if you are 100% there. There are some things you are doing when God look, he's not happy I don't know if you are hearing me. There are things. Let me give an example by the servants of God. There are some servants of God that when God is using them with mightly, with great anointing, not that they are wrong, but when you look at them, when God looks at them, he's not happy. He doesn't, he doesn't want them to live long. You say, no, if they live long, what people will do to them is sin to them. People will worship them. So it's better I take them before they get a worship. Can you hear them what I'm trying to tell you? So in other words, long life to them is sin. Long life to them is sin. To, them is sin. to you is sin. You, to you, is long life is a blessing. Uh, I don't know if you are hearing me. So, therefore, you cannot say that God is reasoning this unless he does it or as he says it. We need to know the mind of God. So, there are some things you are doing by mere looking, by mere speaking, God will say, I'm not happy with this. You are speaking the truth. But when, the way you are speaking, when God looks at no, it's not supposed to speak this way. But before God, you are not sitting here. But there already you are wrong. You are justified only by God. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't say go and sit here. I don't say go and sit here. If you sit here, you have declared yourself that you are but when you are here, Christ in you is the robe of glory. And there's no more condemnation in your life by living for him. So you need to know that though you are living right in here, 
you need to know that that by able to forgive those who are willingly offending you those who are willingly affecting you negatively you are asking God to crash things that you are doing without knowing Galatians 6 verse 1 This verse is important. Verse I think I've spoken a lot. Mama, maybe you'll permit me to stop. So. It says, Magalata 6 1. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any sin, you who are spiritual, that is, you who are responsive to the guidance of the Spirit are to restore such a person in a spirit of gentleness, not with a sense of superiority or self-righteousness. Can, Can you hear that? Can you hear Just read that verse. Not in a sense of? Superiority or, or? self-righteousness. Oh, Keeping a watchful eye on yourself so that you are not tempted as well. Now you know that he who sin in front of you also is checking your righteousness. The moment when you know that this person has sinned, the lesson has come and a test for you. Check if truly you are spiritual. I don't know if you are hearing that. This is a very good scripture. This is a very good scripture. So therefore, a person who sins is there for a test for me. Is there for a test for me? Not to show that I'm better than the person. My superiority. I'm demanded. And I've been checked. Because the moment when this person sees, how I will bring that person to God shows I'm spiritual. I'm spiritual. So therefore, your, your, your spiritual life is determined by the people who are sitting around you. <laughs> Can you see? Your, your spiritual life now is determined by the people who are sitting around you. How you handle them to take them closer. You know, I went I went to do crusade. When I was preaching, I heard God say, don't take offering. Don't take offering. I said, what? And need support. And people are many. People are many. Later, I found that I can make these people to sin more. Not to accept the teaching I was teaching. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because there were more sinners. And others are there to check. Now they know oh, all. They are some pastors. When they are preaching the gospel, it's not because they want money. No, I'm accepting mm -hmm. Jesus. I'm sorry. We can make people to be sinful if we don't look at ourselves. If you are hearing me say amen. If you are amen. Today, don't condemn anybody. Don't, don't even condemn anyone. That is not your position. Everybody is bound to fail. Tell about you are bound to fail. And your failure does not determine your destiny. Because God can still forgive you. 
and you move towards your destiny. Many of us who are called will Baba be sinners. How about sinners? Powerful sinners. Powerful sinners. I was telling another boy when I was coming. I said, if you might have met me, you would have seen that I am not a good man. I was telling you, I said, God, God is good. I said that, but I said, if you invited me when I was 21. Uh, you will say, what, what are you going to do there? Because God took us from our ways. That's the meaning of repentance. Anyway. What is the meaning of salvation? So now, when you see someone, Holy. It is not the issue of talking about Show us your spiritual by restoring that one in a very good way. And on that matter, you have saved a soul. If you believe, say it. How many of you are hearing? Just wave your hand. When was the last time you Accuse someone who did wrong. I give an example by one lady. On Sunday that you will never know. But I said the brother wanted to marry the lady. And I heard that this lady is not a good person. This lady really was really challenged. Attacked. Because we blame people by the attacks. They go through. When I sit with that lady, I was very happy for her. Even today, I was still here. I could see the brother loved the lady. I said, brother, you don't know this lady. Sister, you didn't tell this lady the truth. So I say you must speak the truth about your son to this one. I knew if I said if she will speak that truth she will set herself free. But she said yes. She began to speak the truth. Says I lost a child. I said you were supposed to be having two children. Yes. I did abortion of two children. She said, you are right. But what you are saying, you will declare yourself to get married. This you cannot tell anyone. And I said, brother, do you still love the lady? Sister, sister, yes. You will marry each other. And no one will know. And you will never know. Are you, are you what I'm saying? Let's crush the past. The Bible says, you are a new creature. You are a new creature. You cannot judge a person who has repented. Because when the person repents, is a new creature. The past is gone. The new life has come. If you believe, say it. Let's just uh, read the last scripture. First Peter 4, verse 8. Yes. Peter 4, verse 8. It says, above all, have fervent and unfailing love for one another. Because love covers a multitude of sins. It overlooks unkindness and unselfishly seeks the best for others. Seek the best for others. Love covers the multitude of sins. Seek the best for the Tell the best. Seek the best How do you know you are a sinner? When you start to compete, you are a sinner. You are a sinner. Because always when you have Christ in you, the spirit of Christ makes you to be humble. And you see others 
better than you. Seek the best Seeking the best ones. If you read Luke 6.27 Love covers the multitude of sins. He who love will just cover. When it's wrong, just cover. Because he doesn't want stories. Read Luke 6. Luke chapter 6. Verse 27. Verse 27. It says, But I say to you, who hear me and pay attention to my ways. Love that is unselfishly seek the best or higher good for your enemies. Make it a practice to do good to those who hate you. Do you hear that? If you are able to forgive, this will be your portion. This will be your portion. Make sure that you just love your enemies and pray for them. Because God put them there because of what is coming to you. Without enemies, there is no God's visitation. Forgive them and forgive them. Forgive them. And pray for them. You don't have enemies to be. They are your prayer points. Your enemies are your prayer points. The moment somebody says, I hate you, I will not forgive that person. Remember what Jesus said. Forgive them. Because they don't know what they do. Even if they know, God forgive them. Why? Because he prayed for them. He was teaching us to pray for them. Those who hate us. By forgiving them. I know it is not easy. What you went through, some of you. But you have never lost blood. You have never Christ lost blood the for you. you. have never lost blood. Forgive them. And tell Christ that I'm forgiving them. The moment when you do that, oh my God, when you pray, you will enjoy prayer. You will enjoy your spiritual I, I know many people who are supposed to be far in the but they cage themselves. Satan knows what to do. When they are excited, he just said someone to come and just put you down. Send someone, come and Rumela put you down. Hota hota. Always someone will come and just come and give you pain. Tell you bad stories. You went down. I want to tell you today. Pray for them. I say pray for them. Because God wants to show His power through you. And they will know God is with you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. God bless you.